Melissa. And we are here with another recap video, but not Raw and SmackDown. But of 205 and NXT. Yeah, so we're going to do 205 Live, then NXT, talk about how we felt, and what not, the winners, and what not. Oh yeah, and what we felt, and how crazy it was, or, and then you can if, write in the comments what you, yeah, like if you watch it, like, or if you like the show. Yeah, like how you felt about it, and what not. So, let's see. Beginning of 205, we'll see. We got a match. The first match of that was Jack Gallagher versus Akira Tawaza. What um, the heck? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're so used to seeing Jack Gallagher wear his suit and all that. And, then and he, he came out with these weird looking socks. What the heck? They're like green and mm -hmm. green sh tights and black socks. Black striped socks. Like but, prisoner um, I type. That match was actually good. Um, Akira Tawaza actually won. Yeah. Let's see. Um, of course, I like Akira Tawaza because I like how he does all the flips and this and that yeah. and all that. It's, it's amazing. I liked him when I watched him on Raw. But after that match, of course, Brian Kendrick turned on Drew and Jack because I think. Drew was saying something about this team's not working out or something. Stepping up or something, I think. Not stepping was up, and he was showing something on the monitor. And then I guess Brian and Kendrick couldn't handle it and just t t attacked him. But it ended up making not working out. And Drew and Jack still stand tall. Yep, and they kicked his butt. So, pretty much of that, I mean, I mean, Brian and Kendrick always been bad as I know of. So, you never know. Let's see what happens next time. Yeah. Next one is Kalisto versus TJP. Okay, TJP. Um, about him, I'll see. I liked him when I first noticed him. I liked his entrance with the video game. I did. I also like Kalisto. From I like Kalisto Lucha, more. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Kalisto's way better than him. So I guess now with Kalisto, Liz Dorado, and Grand Metalik, I think that's how I say it, I guess all together they are the Lucha House Party, I think it is. But it's cool, they're all masks and stuff. Um, so I guess, Kal yeah. Kalisto actually won. Um, because, I guess, yeah, Liz Dorado came and distracted TGP and he did and Kalisto did a via roll up and won and I guess TGP got so mad he attacked him from behind he actually pulled off his mask. Ooh that was that was a little ooh that was he, bad. That's bad luck. Yeah that's because they're not supposed to show their face. Yeah it's, a, no. it's against their thing or something. Yeah like oof then they immediately covered him up with a yeah, towel. towel and the ref wanted TGP He was like holding it up and yeah, we didn't know he was going to put it on, weird. or he was putting it on his hand. I thought he was going to put it on his face. I'm like, uh, that's even more disrespectful. So you definitely could tell DGP's a bad guy. But, um, but that's much for um, 205. 205 Live. It was almost two matches. So, but what I thought to advise, it's not really much of a rating because it's only two matches, but, um... One of five. It was all right. That was like, it was all right. I mean, we'll see what happens next week. Yeah, next week maybe it'll be a little more. It might be a little more interesting. Wait, ain't that little sh little guy on that one, or is he on the oh the NXT? The which, which yeah, one? oh the little manager. <laughs> yeah, he had a little interview. He was um. That's on two oh five, right? He's yeah, he was. The... I think he was talking about. I mean, if you're talking about the main title match with Cassandrick and Buddy Murphy, um. Because Buddy Murphy just keep wants to say that he's going to get the title from Cedric. But, um, I mean, I've never really seen Buddy Murphy in acting. Because, like I said, I haven't watched NXT for the NXT. So, I don't know how good he is. So, I can't say if he, ooh, he's probably going to win. I know how good Cedric Alexander is because I, mean, I watched him. I'm new to the game, but I'm learning. So, it's like, yeah. it's all new things to me. But, I am. So, so, um... But they have some good matches, so you know. Um, Especially with Kalisto. Yeah, he he, he definitely yeah, he's, with the he's flips. A, I, 
I like him. Definitely with the flips. So. I liked him before when I saw him before on something else. I don't remember what it was, but I remember watching him before. Now we have NXT. 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 Um, before that, there's some that crazy woman. Oh, yeah, Nikki Cross in the beginning when before NXT started. She's like, <sighs> talking about Bianca Belair. I think that's her name. Yeah, Bianca Belair. She's like, Oh, crazy, yeah. like psycho or something. Like, I mean, that's really crazy. She's like psychotic. I mean, yeah. um, people are like saying she's the female of Dean Ambrose. Because <laughs> like, Dean Ambrose is the lunatic on WWE, he's the guy. She's the female version. Yeah. She, I mean, like, she was little. I mean, she might be a little worse than Dean, but. I don't but know. She's more psychotic. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, yeah. so. It actually, um, then it went right to a match. Lacey Evans versus Candice LeRae. Um, of course, everybody, of course, everybody was cheering for Candice. I want Candice to win. But, of course, fortunately, Lacey Evans won. I mean, that was an interesting match, too. Um, that's what I've seen. Like, a lot of going on there. Yeah, it was it was really weird. But, yeah, I mean. All collapsed on the mat and all that. And yeah. Ooh. Next we have the Forgotten Sons uh, versus, uh, Kirsch, I can't really pronounce it, K-I-R-S-C-H, Kirst, Rise, and instead of it saying Nixon, it says Mixon. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> I mean... That was um, a quick match. That was kind of a quick match because this, of course, it's like one of those teams where it's going to usually win against another team, like people. Um, but, yeah, like one of those people in Forgotten Son is, um, what was it? What's his name? Wesley? I think yeah, I think it is. I think it's a Wesley Blake, I think, or something like that. He was with Buddy Murphy, partner on NXT. That's part of it. Yeah. But I know he's, like I said, but that was a quick match. Of course, Forgotten Sons won. I mean, another okay match, I guess. I mean, like quick. I said, I haven't, I mean, I watched things T before, then I stopped. Now I'm just starting to watch it again because, you know, I hear from my friend saying she watches it and I'm saying about me watching it. So, you know, I'm trying to watch it again. So, got all these new people, so I'm trying you know, get into it. And then I think they had, um, they had that little segment again with, um, oh, what's her name? Kari. Kari Shana, uh, Shana, Shana, saying about she wants to have her rematch at Evolution, but, like, um, I mean... I like I said I like I like um the one what's her, what's her name the Japanese one yeah I just said her name oh my god Kani, 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 what I just said her name yeah literally. I can't remember. I just yeah I like her she's cool and especially when she comes out wearing a pirate yeah but I hope I would want to see her for Sasuke saying that she uh she's gonna win yeah. I mean, but, yeah. So, and then we have Johnny Gargano versus Tony Nese. Now, Tony Nese, I remember seeing on Cruiserweight. But it was funny, he's coming out as his entrance, just count his abs like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, it's eight pack abs. He's proud of having his eight pack abs. Yeah, that was really weird. I'm like, <sighs> Another guy that's worried about his abs. Of course. Like, is this pack enough like, for you? Ugh. Like, what? Oh, wait. No, I got one pack. No, wait. No, make that six. Yeah. But that was actually another good match. I would, like, one, two, oh, kick out. Like, really amazing matches on the top rope and here and here, flying there and there. It's good, but in the end, Johnny Gargano actually won. Yeah. So, yeah. Next is... E C three versus Lars. Okay, Lars came out, but then like as soon as E C three 
played his music, he he just immediately ran to the ring. He like, right. zoom, like immediately before it even like this. This is how fast he went. <laughs> yeah, fast I love like that. a fidget spinner. <laughs> Yay! <Arr. laughs> but yeah, um, I got really crazy and bloody. Yeah, was, his face was all bloodied like, up. Or... But I mean, I mean, I don't see, man. Woo! Out of all this, I mean, I would say it was a pretty good NXT. Pretty good. Also, don't forget about uh, LL Rush is supposed to. Oh, yeah, because I was saying, yeah, Il- Leo Rush is supposed to be um doing an Opa Johnson thing to the website, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it said. So I wonder what, who's going to want to challenge Leo Rush. And then there's going to be, in two weeks, Nikki Cross versus Bianca, right? I think so. Yeah, Bianca. I'm trying to remember. And then next week's going to be in... I forgot who else. I know they're going to have that Northern title. Oh, North, thing. North um, Eastern or something. Yeah, with the title. three North. triple threat. With Pete Dunne. Oh, man. Uh, I forgot the other two guys. See, I'm trying to remember next team. <laughs> I'm trying. But, but uh, yeah, and then there's another match. But, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, all of all the NXT was crazy and actually interesting. So, maybe it'll be more interesting next week. Yeah. So, um, tell us how you felt. Like, what did you think about NXT? Did you like the ending? Did you like the middle? Did you like the beginning? Did you even watch it? I mean, Do you comment. Mean, like, comment what you thought. Like, like, um, are you excited to see Kari? I just remembered her name. Kari against Shayna for the so. NXT Women's Championship for uh, Evolution. Are you looking forward to that? Are you, um, look forward to seeing next week, or oh, no, two weeks, Nikki Cross, the psychotic lady, against Bianca Belair? That Bianca Belair had an interview, I almost forgot, saying that she's undefeated and she's going to stay undefeated. Like, she's like, undefeated, undefeated. Like, she wanted, she's trying to be like, want to be like, Asuka, undefeated. But, um, Oops. yeah, so. Yeah. So, so pretty much that's it. Yeah. Um, so. If you want, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, subscribe for, for more recaps, recaps so. on anything. Yeah, anything you want. Like, <laughs> Pretty much like uh, SmackDown. SmackDown, Raw, NXT. 205, Live. So. Or just comment about anything, like the wrestlers. Or, yeah, or even if you just want to like say who your favorite wrestler is, who you like. Like, mine's Dean Ambrose. Mine's Roman. <laughs> Plus a few others. There's more, but Dean's number one. Roman's number one in my <laughs> book. So, yeah. I mean, we both saw something a little strange tonight, but uh, that's a little... Oh, I'm total <laughs> divas. Divas, yeah. Or both... Rusev and Silvana, like, oh. <laughs> like, okay. Like, total divas was a little thing. And then got Naomi and... Uh, so her... Uh, what, Jimmy or so? It, yeah. With the honey thing. With the honey and her trying not to be healthy. So if you watch that show, comment down below. Yeah. Like, who do you like out of that show? Like, what do you like watching about it? Or if you ever heard of it or or anything like that? Or if you know some other wrestling shows that might be interesting. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, like, comment, and subscribe for more. And we'll see you then. Bye! Bye.